Alan Wake is the newest Xbox 360 exclusive to come out, and it's probably one of the best looking exclusive right now, and probably one of the best games of the year. Probably has probably the potential to get nominated to the uh, best game of the year. Normal gameplay is very nice. Uh, the controls are very simple and easy to pick up and play. Uh, there's only four weapons in the game. Main one you're gonna use is probably the revolver. You get a shotgun, a pump action shotgun, a hunting rifle. All of them are very effective. There isn't any uh, melee weapons. Your main, I guess, weapon to the enemies, such as the darkness, is the flashlight you use. Uh, it's ammunition, I guess, is uh, batteries, which is very easy to come by. There's a lot of places where you can find them, so you will never probably worry about losing batteries. And they're rechargeable, so the upgrade you can upgrade your flashlights to a heavy duty flashlight, or from a flashlight to a heavy duty flashlight, a lantern, a heavy duty lantern, and uh, there's a searchlight. Other sources of light is your flare gun. You put basically a gun that shoots flares and basically kills the enemy right away. It's basically like uh, a grenade launcher. In Halo, in the Halo Reach beta, uh, but killed in one hit. The next is the uh, actual flares. Uh, basically, just light these up to. It's basically your last one of your last uh, resorts if enemies are rushing you. Um, the enemies will back away. They won't die, but they will definitely back away, and they can dam damage them as well. Uh, and your flashbangs, which you get a lot during. The end of the game, you get them. You see them a lot during the end of the games. Uh, in the middle, you don't get them a lot, but the flashbangs are very, very helpful. Uh, they're one-hit kills, and uh, they're just so useful at points where there's a ton of enemies just coming at you. The difficulty in the game is, uh, I guess, perfect. It's it's uh, not too hard, but again, not too easy. There's the normal difficulty. There's the Thing. It's hard, normal, hard, and nightmare, which is the hardest. Uh, the main enemy in the game are the Taken. They're basically like humans who are possessed from a uh, dark presence. Uh, there are only uh, very few enemy types. There's the small and fast, uh, I guess, small and fast uh, Taken, or the and the huge and slow ones. The huge and slow ones just take more damage. You know, there are also uh, those birds or ravens uh, that get possessed by the dark and they attack you and same with uh, objects they get possessed by the dark and they throw things at you like cars or and sometimes actually boats sometimes and other various objects that are in the environment um about 90% of the game you're basically running through the forest there's you can watch tv shorts that are located in your safe havens you get you can collect coffee thermoses, manuscripts, and knockdown cans, and so many other things. Uh, you get achievements for this, so I guess those are easy to achievement points. Um, ammo is easy to come by, uh, whether it's your battery, your flashlight, which is batteries, or your uh, guns. Uh, the checkpoints in the game are very good. They're very constant, are constant, and there's a couple cutscenes. But uh, please do warn you if you. If you want to look to listen more of the story, you have to watch the cutscenes and collect all the manuscripts. Uh, and oh, also to the checkpoints, there are safe havens, which are your main one of your main checkpoints. They're basically, like safe houses, like uh, or safe rooms in like Left 4 Dead. Uh, you can basically restock ammo, ammo and stuff like that. The overall design of the game, as I said, uh, you're basically running through large forests and uh, small towns. Uh, however, in the forest, there's only usually just a path you have to follow. You can't really take your own path. Sometimes there are shortcuts to things, but they don't come uh, a lot. So the overall length in the game can be very long or very short, depending if you watch all the cutscenes and watch all or listen to all the manuscripts that you collect. Uh, the game does a very good job on how frightening the game is, uh, especially if you're playing with turtle beaches like I did. Uh, yeah, it's pretty frightening. It can startle you, startle you, especially if you're like playing at one in the morning or something like that. And it's a pretty good, uh, frightening game for a T-rated game. So they did a good job on that. Presentation, uh, it's just beautiful. 
plain beautiful. Uh, Alan Wake is probably one of the best looking exclusives this year. Uh, it's just amazing. All the character models are amazing. The background of, of environments are amazing. It just looks so nice. It's just so beautiful. The animations are great. The sound and ambience is very well done and the voice acting is superb so no problems in the presentation. Alright so this is time of the video where we talk about spoilers so if you have not played the game or you have not you know have not have you not played the game yet please don't listen to the rest of this part please skip this part but if you don't care go ahead and watch or listen so uh, here we go so in the story uh, the story in the game is very well done but the ending leaves so many doors open for many theories uh, one of the most important lines at the end was uh, said by Alan I think he went like it's not a lake uh, it's an ocean uh, this could be many things, but I think it could probably just mean that the darkness is much bigger than uh, he expected to be. Uh, uh, the darkness is probably expanded uh, more to the end of the credits. It does say something the likes of Alan's adventure. The darkness will continue, so there's a pretty great chance that there will be a sequel to this game. Uh, I mean, the ending just left so many doors open for many theories, so there just has to be a second game. Again, yeah, this game is has just leaves so many theories and I want your input. Uh, tell me in the description box and tell me what your theory is about the ending. Uh, what do you think about the ending? So the overall verdict of this game, the game moves up to its psychological thriller. Uh, I don't know if it's a must buy because there is no multiplayer experience. However, there is DLC which uh, could uh, expand on the story for you those who are very interested in the story like me. That's pretty much the almost legit reason to buy it. But if you're just looking for a game to play and just have a break uh, from the games you're playing, then definitely rent this game. This game is probably one of the best exclusives this year. So uh, yeah, definitely rent it. At least try it once. It will not disappoint. So yeah, if you're really interested in the story, buy the game because there will be DLC coming out. Thanks guys for listening to my review of Alan Wake. If you guys want, follow me on Twitter, uh, email me, download my toolbar, and subscribe. So yeah, thanks guys for listening to this review. I'll see you guys later.